Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Chris with my channel, Chris P44S, back again to play a new game that just came out yesterday on Steam called Death Run TV. It's an arena shooter, just like um, 10 minutes. What is it? 10 minutes remaining and Bro Tato. Uh, pretty, pretty fun arena shooter. It's definitely like really loud, really fast paced. Uh, a lot of stuff going on. Uh, but it's pretty cool, and I'm going to play a couple rounds and uh, show you the game. So, the only thing that, like, the only complaint I have so far, really, is um, in the options, is the... So, basically, like, when you start the game, it says, you know, it's recommended for, like, a gamepad or a controller. Uh, but I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm playing with mouse and keyboard, and the keybinds on here, like, when... I don't want to mess with them right now. Um... But, like, just in here you'll notice, too, like, action is R, which I changed to. Roll is shift. Melee is, um, I think this is supposed to be middle mouse wheel. Uh, yeah. Like, pressing down the mouse wheel. But basically, when you go to, like, reset any of these, they actually don't reset. And what you really want to do is you want to set these and then back out of the game and then come back in. And sometimes they don't change I, on on the keybind screen but when you actually go into the game that's just part of the death run tv that the arena shooter like the theme or like what's going on in the game is uh you're actually um in uh like a game show where you're a contestant and you basically kill to win or die um i actually I actually haven't completed any of the games but it's just like this you know futuristic a uh, game show where people go and get killed, uh, you know, pr pretty, pretty normal, pretty normal. Um, but yeah, if you'll notice here, um, and here, let me go back in the keybinds. So now my role, my role is shift my melee spacebar. The big one to note too is like the melee was definitely middle mouse wheel. My action is R, but I actually like quit out of the game and came back in multiple times to try to get the keybinds to work. But they just don't, sh they don't show up. At when you first change them, they don't change the bind. So you have to quit and back out. But then sometimes when you quit and back out the first time, it changes. So like here, there's this prompt on my screen to hit R, which is my like enter, my action button. Um, before like the key bind wouldn't change. Or like the listed, what it was saying was binded, wasn't actually bound. But it would, but it would, it would come up with this pop-up for R, which is what I switched it to, because initially it's Enter, which is like on the other side of my keyboard, because I have like a regular standard keyboard, mm, and like you know what, that just doesn't really jive with the game because you actually use the action button or like the in my case R to like pick up upgrades and stuff like that. So, like I said, it's really fast-paced and there's a lot going on. Um, but this is kind of like your main hub, where you can come here and do the tutorial. Uh, here's where you spawn in. It's regeneration. So then, you, obviously, you go to play down here. You can just read these makeup. This is like your cosmetic, and um, that's your stats. And even further down is the stuff you have unlocked right now. So they in here they just have like pretty standard cosmetics. Your dude actually, I feel like, looks a lot better. Your guy or girl. Um, because there is cosmetics to make your character into a female or have female accessories or, you know, whatever. I, I don't want to get into all the gender stuff, but you can, <laughs> you can make your person look like whatever you want. Um, but I actually think the person looks better from afar, but there's some different, like, facial hairs that I have. Um, but you unlock this stuff, too, while you're playing the game. Like, you can see... Right now, I only have, I have four hairstyles. I have one, two, 13, um, and 32. So I've been using 32. Here you can change your voice. <laughs> yeah, and there's some profanity in this game. I'm not sure how well you can hear that. Uh, but I do have the game... Uh, volume dropped to like 30 decibels so I still want people to hear it because actually the um, the music and stuff is like really really intense um, and maybe I'll like play around 
with just the music. Like, I'll go back on and, and turn the volume back up on the game. But, like, it's basically all about the total ambience of the of the TV show, you know. It's really about the high volume, high speed, you know, lots of things going on on screen. And, uh, you know... That's just what that's just what what this whole game is about. It's an arena shooter, like pumped up to the max. Um, so these are the guns that I have unlocked so far. Kind of what I'm noticing is, like these guns, like like for example, I just unlocked a double minigun a little. I actually unlocked the ion pulser, I think last, and I've never even seen it. Um, so you can equip like two guns here. You do have limited ammo to equip items. Um, it, when you're actually in the arena, you'll have a you'll have um, like a gun here and a gun here, and you use E and Q you're using W A S D to move. But you use E to like change your gun in your right hand, and Q to change the gun in your left hand. And like I said, they do have ammo. They do have limited ammo inside the game. Um, and when you fire, you use right click. Oh, that's kind of weird. You actually use the right click for the left and the left click for the right. The gu the guns do have kickback. You can see, like, I'm not moving. I'm not moving my character. Now I'm moving forward. Now I'm moving back. So the guns do have kickback. I think, like, the double minigun is honestly just awesome. <laughs> like, they are so cool. Uh, but the guns definitely feel, like, really good. This triple barrel shotgun is like awesome. It's so cool. It feels so good to just clear it like a room with this thing. Uh, it is notable too if you shoot any of these guys. Um, these people in your hub, like bodyguards will come and try to kill, like security will come and try to kill you, which is kind of neat. I mean, I don't really think there's any achievements for killing someone at this home screen and surviving for X amount of time, but it could be. Um, but so these are the guns and then these are the upgrades that you get inside the game. And you can start, with, you start with one and you start with these guns for the first round. But like I said, you have limited ammo so it doesn't last too long. I honestly think like better accuracy is probably good, but like I think to get far at, with what you have in the beginning, because you start with turbo fire, you start with turbo fire and like some of these pistols and the Uzi and stuff like that. I don't even think I've ever even used the Uzi. I don't even think I've ever seen it like pop in the game. Um, seems cool though. I'm gonna try these just for fun. They sound cool. Um, turbo fire is just like amazing, and you basically it all stacks. It all stacks. So the more turbo fire you get, the faster your guns are. And the, basically, what happens too is like once you deplete your ammo, you'll get stuck with these basic pistols. Which are kind of okay, but if you notice, yeah, like your guns actually do pick up a little bit. I actually, I don't know if your turbo fire is even on in here, but you want turbo fire with your default pistols because they're kind of weak, and obviously, like DPS is a thing. So uh, rate of fire, the increase of rate of fire is going to increase your DPS. I don't know if anyone doesn't know that, but um, for any of those. But he was not really paying attention. Um, that's definitely what you want to do. I mean, it just seems like the most obvious upgrade when you when you proc some of the upgrade things. And um, basically, to get upgrades in the game, you actually save survivors in here. So we'll just jump into a game because they're really, it's really not that deep. Obviously, um, I I will say this. I don't know why, but I'm like somewhat partial to the Brotato game. Um, and I really, really enjoy that. I think this one is good in, in different ways. But as far as like the arena shooter goes, the way the upgrades and the way things happen in Brotato is is very is, is very interesting to me. So this is me starting up the show. Uh, this is my high score so far. Um, you'll get you saw like the likes and stuff there. Um, this you can actually change. You can change um, the arena. I have to turn this volume down. So contestant is uh, is supposedly the easiest one, but I find it quite difficult so far. Um, I'm just gonna click this arena and see what happens. Maybe this is just like a test arena or something. 
I don't know if this actually counts as the first level, but it, it seems to. But basically, yeah, it's just going to drop you into this. And you see these people with yellow? These are prisoners that we want to take over to this yellow thing. You have to be really careful, though, because there is some other enemies. So once I once you save so many of them, you get an upgrade. I'm going to take Turbo Fire, obviously, because that's what I stated I think is going to be the best. There's another weapon right up there. Oh, I guess I could go grab it. Boy, those things went by went pretty fast, those ion cannons. Um, but what I was going to say is there's... Um, Maybe this is just like in a like if I choose this. Oh, this is so I think this says Studio Arcade. So I actually never tried to do this before. I thought this would change the um this is basically I think just like Survivor um audience voting. Whoa, that's cool. Oh, I just jumped right into the hole. Um so kind of like Okay. And I just jumped in the hole again. That's really cool. So that's arcade mode. I didn't realize what that was. I thought that had something to do with um, the actual kind of like story where you go through the waves. Um, but I think that's probably a thing in its, uh, on its own where you can probably unlock. So you can probably just play, you can probably just play that survivor mode and get unlocks. Uh, I definitely want to switch off these ions cannons because they seem decent but um i mean a lot of times i was just starting with the silver pistols but i'll start with these um triple barrel shotguns because <clears throat> the triple barrel shotguns are really nice all right so let me play let me play a regular a regular game um another thing to note too is if you notice, you can jump with spacebar and shift. I feel like the melee and the spacebar kind of do the same thing. And every now and then he like flips out his knife. But this is the regular game where you kind of go through these waves and you go through studios. So right now I'm in studio one of one. And um, yeah, basically you just keep keep running through these studios, saving prisoners, getting unlocks, collecting different weapons. You have to be careful for iron, um, environmental uh, like pitfalls or traps, especially like the spikes, because sometimes there'll be so much stuff going on on screen, like you just totally forget to look what's in front of you and like what's around you. So it definitely gets really difficult. And I don't know if, I, if what I was trying to say earlier about the prisoners actually came out, but there's a lot of other enemies that are yellow, like this guy up here. And sometimes, like, I don't know why, I'll just think that it's a prisoner, and I'll just run into the thing. And then, um... Ooh, the zombies just ate my guy. But I'll run into them thinking it's a prisoner, because that's how you tag prisoners. But it won't be. It's, like, just super tricky, and you just really have to pay attention. I found that, like, in this first studio, it's a lot easier to, um to get the prisoners because it seems like in the first studio most of these enemies are like melee enemies and just try to bump into you but in the second studio a lot of them have like bullet and uh, projectile uh, attacks that they'll like fling at you mm, but this bullet time one's pretty good too this bullet time rolls it's basically like a max pain thing going on. Uh, there's also kind of like... I'm just going to save this guy. If you don't run in here fast enough, two like, ex little explosions start going off in the studio. But I was going to say, like the guys who made this game also have some kind of like nostalgic feels for uh, like Sonic and Mario and stuff. Because there's definitely been some like cosmetics and the upgrade for like the shoes... Like those are basically Sonic shoes. I have to get to my nose. One other thing too to note is um, with the jumping, obviously they're going to be like jumping over holes, but you can jump through enemies as well um, instead of bumping in them and taking damage. You kind of have like that whole Dark Souls thing going on where um, I can also pick up this key and bump it in here 
open, but I'm not gonna leave. But everything's really fast paced, like you see. But like I said, there's definitely some nostalgia going on with like Sonic and Mario and other games. Uh, the thing I was saying about rolling, uh, you can just kind of roll through things and you get that um, invincibility going. Like I can just roll through this guy if he gets really close to me. Although I think right now I have like invincibility. That was also the bullet time. And for those of you who don't know, the bullet time I feel like is pretty much just max pain. This crossbow is pretty legit. I think the crossbow is really strong. But yeah, those buzz saws up there, like obviously if I run into them. Oh, there's a minigun. I got you. But like even the voices and stuff, it's kind of like hard to make a video uh, about the game when I think the like the sound is plays such a big role, like the sound and the music. But um, like if I turn the music up to where it's supposed to be, I feel like no one would be able to hear me. This is like a bonus studio right here, you, and you don't you don't get the same studios in the same order every time. Um, which is which is another thing too you want to remember. Um, so like I've definitely played games where I never even see this bonus studio. What was that? So this is more accuracy, and then I'll take these shoes, hedgehog shoes. So obviously like hedgehog. If you pop these two, this uh, gives you likes. Likes are up here in the top corner. Um, but yeah, I think likes pretty much. I'm just going to go with more weapon drops here. Likes is pretty much your score overall, and I'm pretty sure, like, that's... Your likes are added up at the end of the game. Oh, my gosh. I don't know what I just ran over. Your likes are added up at the end, and then I'm pretty sure that's, like, how what they um, use to attribute points um, towards unlockables and things like that. Yeah, so now we're going to start getting into, like, the projectile stuff here. And we're kind of going to want to be just, like, getting through ASAP. All right, so we got a boss, uh, the Megapede. People are normally scared of little bugs, so imagine their reaction when they see me. Um, yeah, but there's definitely a lot of stuff going on here. This room, we got to be careful of these. I'm pretty sure this guy just moves, like, left, right, and up and down. Like, he doesn't ever do any diagonal. So if you stay diagonal from his from his uh, head, you should be okay. I just kind of have to watch where his head is. Oh, I just walked right into those spikes. On accident. Oh, I walked into the spikes again. Dang, I just died. But you do die quick. I definitely just got a new high score and a new cosmetic scene. I got pink headphones um, and a battle cannon. So let's go back and just check out the battle cannon real quick. Um, and maybe I'll go into my OBS here and turn up the... I feel like if I turn the thing up, you're just not going to be able to hear me at all. But maybe I'll just do a run like that. So you guys can kind of see. I've gotten, like I said, I've gotten to the second studio, and I've gotten kind of deep in the second studio, but I was never actually able to complete it. Um, so it would be, like, really, really interesting. Um, I'm assuming this is just, like, a rocket. Oh, my gosh. So this is only one. This is two. Seems pretty legit. I really, really want more. So the, the only... The only upgrade I've unlocked is this more prisoners one. So I wish there was a place where you could see the unlocks. This is my high score pad. But maybe like to unlock stuff, I just have to get higher and higher. Oh, so total deaths 20, total likes. Oh, so there's probably some like, it would be nice if I could just step on these and see like what it takes to unlock them. It'd be nice if there's a little hint about what was under here, too. Oh, it says stuff. 
Oh, what? Is this glitched? Oops. Oh, here's the guards. Oh, so it's actually telling me like what they're unlocking right now. I want to take this jetpack and see if I can actually load out into the game with it. I don't think you're supposed to be able to click on those if they're not unlocked. But maybe you can. Oh, oh I definitely have the jetpack. But can I actually use the jetpack? It looked like I could use it in the lobby, but it didn't look like I was using it here. I will definitely find out, though. Kaboom. It doesn't seem like I am. It seems like I just have the jetpack going. I'm trying to grab those likes. Hmm, that's sad. I mean, it's definitely a bug of some sort. OMG. They must think I'm a lot better than I am because I have the jetpack. Look how fast I just roll through this. That battle cannon, like, I just. It just blows through stuff. Oh, I have, like, big guns right now. Sometimes you get like these weird, um, you have these weird, uh, like upgrades, I guess. Oh, I just got smacked. I feel like whatever dungeon I just want to do is really hard. I definitely think you gotta jump quite a bit. Mm. Yeah, I guess I'll take the hedgehog shoes. Yeah, I guess the jetpack just does. Oh, there it goes. How is that not working before? You gotta kinda like. Oh, now it's working. Hmm. Maybe I need kills? or something. Um, there is a multiplier, like all my stuff is over here on the right. I think there's like a multiplier that builds up like the more kills you have. I almost think you want to just like run through the levels like as fast as you can. I was just floating there for a minute. That orange gun over there, I like it, but I'm not like a huge fan. Uh, but it does do damage for sure. But it also just like really, really uh, clusters up the screen, you know. About a bullet time roll out of this joint. Is itchy again. This is the kind of game where you cannot have an itchy nose. It does take a little while to get used to as well, like trading off, like grabbing the guns. Like grabbing the right gun and the right, and the not the right hand, but in the appropriate hand. I did also forget another big, uh, big thing. You do have grenades that I definitely don't use enough, and then you just hit F, and it just basically just destroys everything. I definitely don't use them enough, though. Um, 
But yeah, I think the best way to get likes is by capturing prisoners and by killing enemies. But it's kind of weird, like, the way... The... You can't sit in a room that's just spawning enemies and kill the enemies. They have to be kind of like... You have to keep, like, progressing through the map. This thing is doing work on this guy. Oh, I was not ready for that. I wanted to grab this gun. I think I just got him. Yeah, so he should drop upgrades and stuff. I think he's on top of spikes. I think the bad guy was on top of spikes and I ran into it right there. Alright, so now we're going to go to Studio 2 and you're going to see a lot of bullets. You're going to see a lot of projectiles. And in some cases, I, I think I think at a point right here, it kind of... I just used a grenade. You can step on these and get likes as well. But look, I have like barely any likes compared to the first time. But yeah, you see where my multipliers are? I think you just want to keep like pushing through as fast as you can. And do probably I should probably use grenades like a lot more than I do right now. But if I step on these things too, I get likes. That's me trying to spaz out and get out of there. There goes a grenade. I gotcha. I don't know if you can hear my guy, like whenever he grabs prisoners and stuff. Did I just jump down a hole? Jakers. These are the guns I need for these robots, man. But they, like, just kill off the prisoners so quick. I'm going to a grenade. I got you. Where am I going? Oh, gee, look at all these prisoners. This is definitely an upgrade. Turbo fire. Okay, okay. These stars, I think, are just like random guns. Oh, dude, I just walked right into that. And it actually, like, it actually does feel bad when you like get hit. Like the way the game slows down and everything too. I really like that because like it makes you feel bad for getting hit, or makes it really feel like you're taking the damage. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but the way that it just rocks you back. Oh, I kind of want to go. Can I go get these guys? It doesn't seem like I'm counting down to a bomb. I am losing my multiplier up here, but um, I'm not counting down to a bomb, so I'm just going to throw some more prisoners in here. Okay, or not. Oh, there, there's all my prisoners. They all fell into the hole. That's cool. Um, eh, I'm pretty happy with my guns. I could use a little bit more HP. Bomb. Bombs destroy all the bullets, too. Which is kind of, like, good to... Oh, I jumped right in the hole. Oh. Dude, what? Oh, now I'm a giant. Can I just leave? Oh, I can just leave. Nice. I'm so done. I have like one heart right now. Mecha tank. I invented repulsor stuff. 
yeah, this game, definitely play with your headphones on if you are a uh, younger person and your parents are around. Ugh. Oh. I want I want I said that cannon and I went for it. So I just unlocked double pistol, electro trooper, and um swoop. <laughs> Alright, let's go back and look at some of these. Um Ooh, I'm at thirty minutes right now. I wanna play one game with the volume on blast. Um so let me do that. I'm gonna turn everything up. And just so you can get like that full effect. I cause I I'm pretty sure like the volume is decent at a decent um, decibel right now. I can't believe you can hear all these things. Oh, that's sick! You see, like I see on my guns, there's these little like. I like that one. It's just that should help. Oh, that's cool. I I think this is bugged though. Or maybe it's not. Maybe this this is just how they wanted it. I mean, explosive rounds, that's to be good. What the heck are battle shoes? Um What were the other guns I got? So that's definitely something too, like Oh that's nice. What was the other I got like a pistol or something, didn't I? The double pistol? Was that it? Seems legit. Um, I actually do like the machine guns quite a bit. Alright, so what I'm going to do to end this video off, I do want to take one of these. Bouncing shots. So bouncing shots, I'm assuming, is just going to stick with me for the game. Um, but I'm going to go on air and... Um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and bring this back up to normal. And now you guys can just enjoy what the game is. And I'll do a, I'll do a survival mode. Sick, huh, guys? <laughs> I'm gonna turn my head. We believe in you! Keep down! I think that's out.
music was kicking there for a minute. I think when you run through the regular waves, it's a lot nicer. Um, but that that is, in a nutshell, Death Run TV. And I do like it. I do like it. Like I was saying, though, before, like, I, I don't know what it is about Brotato, but I really, really enjoy that, and I can't wait for the release of that game. Um, I do like this game, though, too, and it is only ten ninety nine on the Steam Store. Uh, definitely, definitely worth checking out if you're into the arena shooter, shooter games. And it's simple. It's not nothing too crazy, nothing too deep. You know, just shoot them up, blast them up, make them bleed. And that's the game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on... Um, Death Run TV, and uh, what do you guys think of um, any of these, if these are bugs, or any issues that you have with the game, I'd definitely be interested to talk about it. I'm going to continue playing and see how far I can get. I would like to make a how to beat uh, Death Run TV video, so I'm going to keep after it. I also am still playing Hellslave, if anybody's interested, but that's more like a story linear um, thing and not permadeath, roguelike, roguelite, or anything like that, so, um, but that is a really, really nice game. But with that said, um, I'm going to cut this video off and I'll catch up with you guys in the next one. Alright.